Hey you guys, welcome back to part two of my MAC Cosmetics um, basically lip video. If you're here today, I hope that you watched part one. I tried five different lipsticks from MAC Cosmetics because today I'm going to be trying five different lip glosses from MAC Cosmetics. And if you're new to like the lip glosses of MAC, they actually are called lip glasses. So I always thought that was a cute name. It's different, you know? So yeah, let's get right into trying some of MAC's lip glasses. Okay, you guys, so the first shade that I'm going to be trying today is actually called Bow. I hope that I'm pronouncing that right. It looks like this. Looking into the glass bottle, I do see some shimmers, so I'm thinking that I'm going to get some kind of glittery payoff when it comes to this color. Um, let's go ahead and try it out and see for ourselves. So this is such a cute nude shade. It actually has a lot of gold reflectors in it and I think that's what even makes it better as a nude. Um, it's definitely giving me topper types of vibes like I would have put this over a, um, a matte nude actually. It actually be cute over the shade photo that I tried on in the last MAC video that I did. So yeah, I am really feeling this and we're off to a way better start than the lipstick video. Thank God. <laughs> Let's go into the next shade. The next shade that I'm going to be trying today is called Spite and it looks like this. So yeah, this is definitely another nude shade. It looks like it's giving um, cool tone vibes from what I see in the bottle. So let's go ahead and try this one on as well. Guys, I'm not even gonna lie. I like this shade way better than the last shade. And let me tell you why. It's because it doesn't have like the extra glitters in it. Even though I thought that Bow was a perfect shade when it came to something that I did want with glitters. If you guys have been on my channel before, you know that glitter isn't my favorite thing. Did I think it was cute? Yes, but this, a solid gloss and a cool tone gloss at that is perfect for me. I think this one is cute. I wish it would have had a little bit more pigment to it. If it did have that extra cool toned pigment towards it, a little bit more color, this would be a beautiful nude shade. And I mean, it's still beautiful, but it would be a perfect shade, I guess is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> the third shade that I'm trying today is called Spice and it looks like this. It is a little on the orangey side, which I like. I hope it lives up to its name, Spice, because in my head, I need this to be a fall shade, okay? Like, we're not calling you Spice for no reason. So, I'm gonna try and see if it's giving Spice or not. <laughs> So I'm definitely feeling the shade Spice and I was kind of nervous that it would be too opaque to actually see that it was a fallish color but to me this has the perfect amount of like that orangey tint to it. It's almost kind of pinkish nude. Um, it's perfect and it's really all that I could ask for when it comes to the name Spice. Y'all did y'all think with this one, okay? <laughs> this next shade by Matte is called Bittersweet and it's another one of those cool tone shades. So it looks like this up close in the bottle. It's giving kind of mauve actually now that I'm looking at it on camera here. But yeah, let's go ahead and try this shade out as well. I'll just say this about the shade bittersweet um i really think this is a cute cute mauve shade i don't even know how to describe it i do know that i had a shade similar to this um by the brand called dose of colors and i wore it all the time i just i don't even need a lip liner like this is just a i'm gonna slap this on real quick because i want to look cute today I want like a little bit of color um so yeah like i love this shade obviously and i don't know i'm just happy to have a color like this again because that other lip gloss that i had is so old and it's like after a while you have to throw some of your glosses away 
<sighs> so I'm glad I have another one like this again. It's kind of plum actually now that I think about it. It reminds me of a berry shade, which speaking of berry, I think this last shade that I'm actually going to be trying is kind of berryish. So let's get right into it. The last shade that I'm going to be trying for you guys today is called Love Child and it is giving a purplish pink vibe. So I don't know how I feel about this one because it looks kind of strange in the bottle. I'm just going to be honest with you. So I'm going to go ahead and try this one on. Okay, you guys, I'm on the fence about this last shade called Love Child. I don't know if I like it or not. It is a weird like pinkish color, but it also is like metallic in a strange way so i guess it's kind of shimmery like the first shade i don't know maybe it's just freaking me out because it's like pinkish purplish that makes me nervous like i always get nervous when it comes to really pink shades so yeah um like i said this was the last shade you guys let me know if you guys enjoyed this video or not if you haven't seen part one of this video yet which was the matte lipsticks in the one awful cream sheen that I tried on then make sure you go check that one out as well also lastly if you're new to my channel make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button I will be pushing out new content weekly here and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and with that being said I'll see you guys in my next video bye you guys